Assalamu alaikum and good night everyone. So today we learn about the uh, photosynthesis. So in the photosynthesis, um, in the photosynthesis, there are two types of reactions that involve photosynthesis. It is divided into the light reactions, light reactions, and the light eh, sorry and the where is the pen eh mana, mana pen sorry ok ok this <laughs> sorry sorry uh, light reactions and dark reactions dark reactions so other names for the light reactions is the uh, light dependent reactions dependent whereas for the dark reactions also known as the light independent reactions or the, its famous names is the uh, Kelvin cycle Kelvin cycle so today we're going to um, before that um, the light light reactions is uh, is divided into two more which are uh, we have the non cyclic and also cyclic photoposporylations so <clears throat> um, today we'll focus on the uh, non cyclic in this video non cyclic photoposporylation under the like uh like dependent reactions in the photosynthesis so are we ready let's be <clears throat> first of all before we uh uh we analyze the uh, mechanisms of the non-cyclic uh non-cyclic photosporylation we need first to understand the um, the, the components or the subunits involved in the, in the Z uh, scheme uh, reactions. So first thing here, mm, we have this um, a symbol which is uh, the square symbol one and two here. So it it represents the primary ele electrons acceptors, which are mm, it could be the P six hundred eighty. O P seven hundred. The P six hundred eighty is known as the P photosystem two, whereas the P seven hundred also known as the P photosystem one. Um, why it is known as the photosystem uh P seven hundred because uh the maximum uh. Uh, wavelengths of the light that can be absorbed is uh, 700 which is cannot more than that it should be less than 700 uh, same goes to six p680 and then the second component is here this shape um, like, like this so one here in the ps1 and another one in the ps2 so it represents or denoting the reaction center of the photosystems next we have the PQ, PQ. We have the PC and the FD. What does it mean? So, PQ represents the plus the quinone, PC is the plus the cyanine, and ferrodoxins is the FD is the ferrodoxins. So both of uh, three of these uh, the uh, these are the electrons carriers. All right, so let's just begin. Mm. Let us begin. First of all, uh, let me change the color. So the color. Um, we use the color orange color. When when the uh, sunlight, when the light from the sunlight strikes onto the um, <coughs> and antenna antenna molecules of the photosystem too <clears throat> the light energy or photons is being absorbed by the antenna pigments 
this is the antenna thickness the ones that is round and in green color so uh, once the light energy is absorbed by the antenna pigments the photons will be uh, transferred from <coughs> from one antenna pigments to another uh, antenna pigments until it reaches the reaction centers this is reaction centers of the uh, photosystem tube <laughs> so what's inside the photosystems uh, reaction center of the photosystem tube is uh, chlorophyll A and then uh, next step is the electron at the reaction centers when it reaches at the electron cen uh, reaction center of the photosystem tube there are two electrons uh, two electrons <coughs> uh, it will become excited the electrons will become excited and will be transferred to the primary uh, electron acceptor which is uh, p780 uh, here is transferred to here <coughs> and then uh, in this area it will undergo the electron deficiency at the reaction center and hence the p680 will become um, positive which is it will become p680 will become p680 plus <coughs> due to the electron deficiency at this side because the electrons now uh, move to the high level of energy at here and and we have the uh, manganese uh, manganese molecules or manganese complex here the enzyme which uh, which stimulates the photolysis that leads to the photolysis of the water the process of photolysis of water uh, will take place will take place the photolysis of water is a process of splitting water molecules um, so a water molecule will be split into the oxygen it will drive by the manganese complex this complex so what happened when the photolysis of water takes place uh, the photolysis of water that occur is to overcome uh, the electron deficiency so the equation will be H2O will be split it into half oxygen uh, gas plus two hydrogen ion two H plus and plus two electrons so this um, these two electrons will be uh, used to replace the electron losers at the reaction center here And then, uh, if the question is asked, what types of enzyme uh, help the conversion of the water to the uh, oxygen gas and the and the uh, two electrons is the Z protein. So the Z protein is the enzyme that helps in the catalysis of the uh, water. So this process is the uh, oxidation. Mm, oxidation because it is uh, it gains two electrons and then the next step uh, after the photolysis of water occur or takes place um, uh, but before that uh, we have the oxygen the oxygen here this is oxygen so what will uh, the fate of the oxygen will be uh, eventually released to the atmosphere but before that they will we will need uh, to uh, half half oxygen half more of oxygen gas will combine with another half more of oxygen gas to become uh, one more of uh, oxygen gas that will eventually release to the atmosphere and the next step will be the electron is passes through uh, a series of uh, electron transport chain so here the electron transport chain is the this part this is the electron transport chain which uh which consists of the plastic quinone cytochrome uh, f complex or cytochrome complex uh plastic plastic mm. mm. 
<laughs> okay um, this is the pilot space it occurs in, inside the telecom membrane of the chloroplast um, okay um, when the uh, electron at the primary electron acceptor here uh, it passes to mm, the plastoquinone passes to the plastoquinone uh, the energy will be released because uh, it involves in the ETC all the process uh, that takes place in the ETC will uh, release ATP then the electron will be passed to to the cytochrome uh, complex cytochrome complex and then uh, the ATP also be released because it's still inside the ETC after that uh, the electron will be passed to uh, the plastoquinone sorry plaster plastocyanin PC plastocyanin and then uh, the electron will stay at the plastocyanin and this process will stop a while um, and what about uh, the PS1 versus system 1 P700 it will also uh, occur the same thing the sunlight or the light energy will strike the the antenna molecules mm -hmm. and then uh, the photons or the light energy will be transferred from one antenna molecules to another antenna molecules until it reaches the primary uh, the reaction center of the photosystem one or p700 and then this reaction center also consists of the chlorophy a <laughs> and when when the electron reaches uh, the uh, primary uh, the reaction center of the PS1 or P700, it will jump to higher energy level. It will become excited, and it will be transferred to the primary electron center, which is the P700. <coughs> and the P700 becomes uh, more positive the charge will become positive p700 plus and then the electrons uh, at the plastocyanin will place the electron um, loses electron loss at the reaction center of the photosystem one this the process that stop a while will replace this uh, the losses of electrons at the reaction center of the p700 and then the post uh, primary electron center will pass through a series of uh, electron uh, transport change but we didn't mention the confidence we just mentioned as general and then electron is passes to the ferrodoxins mm. it will pass us through the ferrodoxin uh, lastly the electron uh, from the ferrodoxin will pass to uh, the NADP plus it will pass to the final electron acceptor which is NAD NADP plus that eventually will become the NADPH plus H plus so the enzyme that catalyzes uh, the conversion of the NADP plus to the NADPH is the NADP plus reductase. This equation is invalid because um, it should we should have uh, the electrons on the left side of the equation. 
so will be an ADP plus plus two electrons plus uh, two H plus we produce this as the products so this is a uh, oxidation uh, sorry a uh, reduction process so reduction occur at the photosystem one and then oxidation occur at the photosystem two p680 so uh, both uh, both process oxidation and ex uh, reduction that occur at the same times within a, a, a process is called as the uh, simultaneously is called as the uh, redox reactions <coughs> So um, the we we have done with the non-cyclic photophosphorylation. <coughs> Next, uh, we will see the final products of the non-cyclic photophosphorylation. First of all, the first product is oxygen. oxygen gas that will be released to the atmosphere and then mm, <coughs> NADPH plus H plus NADPH and lastly when it involves the EPC electron transport change the ATP will be released when the electron moves from the each component. So we have ATP. We have ATP here. That's the product. And ATP. So that's all for the non-cyclic photophosphorylation that occur in the tyler membrane of the chloroplast.